A 14-year-old girl accidentally shot by her boyfriend is getting a new start. The girl's mother has moved her out of state and wants their situation to serve as a warning for other parents. In March, Keely Neal and Alante Arnold were hanging out in the apartment where he lived in Coon Rapids. Keely says Alante accidentally shot her. She survived, but he left the home and took his own life. Only on WCCO, Keeley's mom, Mickey, says this was a wake-up call for her. Ashley Roberts joins us in the newsroom with a story. Ashley, parents will want to listen up. Jamie, Mickey says the past few months have been extremely tough. She describes them as the most trying of her life. She says the shooting left her feeling that she failed as a parent. I could have lost my daughter. Um, and I'm really... grateful that she's okay. We uncovered the gun used in the shooting was stolen from a Coon Rapids home where Alante and Keeley attended a party a few nights before. These pictures also surfaced on Facebook after the shooting. Police say the guns Alante is holding are different than the one used in March. Neil also found the pictures and learned her daughter had seen them before the shooting. She says she looked the other way when Keeley began isolating herself, being standoffish and was always tired, possibly using marijuana and drinking. The shooting made her realize she needs to be more active in her daughter's life. We love our kids and we really, really got to be on them all the time. Once they're isolating, um, if you think that they're using. Um, get into their pictures, get into their phones. I mean, that's a privilege. Mickey says after the shooting, she learned her daughter was once again hanging out with a teenager with a gun. She says Keeley seemed unfazed by it. When she learned that, she realized her work was not finished. Ashley, I have to ask, how's Keeley doing today, both emotionally and physically? Jamie, after the shooting, Keeley had surgery and stayed in the hospital for four days. Mickey says doctors diagnosed her daughter with PTSD, and the emotional scars still linger. So this is something both mother and daughter will be dealing with years down the line. Mm. Wow. Ashley, thank you.